Hi, this is Pat Lantin, and in this clip I want to show you a little about how and why I layer colors. There's a lot of variables in lay layering colors, um, which pencils you use, the paper, the type of paper, the color of paper, and the pressure that you use. I'm going to be using Stonehenge paper and um, Prismacolor pencils. Now, one of the reasons that you um, layer is because the more you layer, the lighter the pressure that you use and the more you layer, the richer your color you'll get and, and more depth. If you just keep doing light pressure and layer, layer, let me pull in a little bit. If you do light pressure and layer and layer in all directions, you get a prettier look than if you were just to use pressure and a single or one or two layers. So it's, you get more depth of color if you layer single colors. Another um, reason that I layer is to blend one color into the other. So say I have my red. This happens to be Scarlet Lake, by the way. And I'm going to put several layers of this red on. And I'm going in a circular motion to um, fill in all the grooves of the paper. Then I'm going to lighten my pressure as I come out. Lighten, lighten to where I'm barely touching the paper and not put as many layers. Sharp, you need a sharp pencil for this so that it fades out to nothing. Then I'm going to take the second color start out here, put several layers on, and then blend into this color so that your colors blend together. And that's another reason that you do a light layer as you come out so you can blend your colors together. Another reason is to um, mix colors. So if I were to take say a pink and I believe this is just called pink put a few layers on here and then take blue and you want the same value. The blue I picked up here is the non-photo blue which I mean I I think it means it doesn't show up in photographs, but I hope it shows up on the camera. Then I put the pink back over it, so I layer these two colors together, and I get a third color, which is a lavender color. You mix pink and blue, and you get lavender. Now. Um, as I said, you want to try to use the same values of colors when you're doing this. I hope that shows up, but it turned into a lavender. Okay, another um, thing you can do with layering colors is um, add the complement and dull a color. So here I'm using Scarlet Lake again. And if I want to dull that red, keep it a red tone, but dull it. I will add the complement. And in this case, I'm using Marine Green. Again, you want a similar value.
so I can put the green on the red, go back to the red, and I have dulled that red so that I still have red, but it's a dull color. You can also dull a color with a gray. So there's, if you, you can try two different ways, either with the complement or with a gray. Again, I'm using a similar value. And by layering this gray over the red, and then putting the red back on, layer, layer, I dulled the red, but still have a red tone. I also like to mix um, colors with, um, to mix a black. And if you just use black straight, my tendency is to press harder to get this on faster, but I'm going to try to layer it so you can see it. See, I started to press hard there. We're always fighting that um, urge to press harder. Okay, so I have black. Black is kind of a, a, a dead color. If you mix your black, wait, I wanted the dark green this time. That was the marine green. I wanted the dark green. If you mix your black, you get such a prettier, richer color than if you just use black straight. So I'm going to be putting green on, then I'll put indigo blue. Did I pick? No, I picked up the wrong color. No, that was the right color. Okay, so dark green. And you can use different greens and blues. These just happen to be the ones I'm using, but you're going to use a dark value of green and blue. Then I'll put the blue on, the indigo blue. Then I'm using Tuscan red. Another good color for this is black grape, but I'm using Tuscan red. And I usually go back to the indigo blue again. Then you can use a dark umber. Actually, I picked up the dark brown. I'll use the dark brown, but dark umber would be better. And you can put some black on there. You can sandwich the black in between the other colors. And it darkens it, but still you get a richer color. So then I might go back to the little bit of the green. Again, layering, you get a nice, rich color. The blue. And the order of this is not critical. And the red. And then maybe finish up with the black, and I'll put the black, I'll put more black over here on the other one as well because it's not quite fair to compare when you don't have as many layers. I will try to keep layering this without using pressure and get it to a similar number of layers that I have here. And I hope that shows up on camera, but the one that was mixed is such a prettier, richer color than the one that was not mixed. Um, another thing um, that I just thought of is when you're trying to get a black, if you're using black, and I do use black sometimes, and you want a richer black, just add, or a darker value. Just add indigo blue to it. I hope you can see how that just darkens that black. Makes it a darker value. And when I'm doing, when I'm using the black pencil, 
a lot of times I will just add the indigo blue to it to make it darker. And that's a richer color than the original black as well. Try your own color swatches because the camera cannot pick up the true colors. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps in your blending. Please check out my website, www.patlantine.com.